You are now inside the aft 5-inch 38 caliber gun mount of the USS Laffey. This caliber gun is considered to be one of the best naval guns of World War II. You are one of the 14 highly trained young men whose battle station is inside the tight quarters of this mount. The mount captain heads this crew consisting of a trainer, a sight setter, a pointer, a sight checker, a fuse setter, two projectile and rammer men, two powder men, two hot casemen, and two shell guardmen, all working together with exacting precision to fire these huge guns, which are capable of firing up to 22 55-pound rounds per minute per barrel, up to 18,000 yards, and as high as 37,000 feet. It is 0827 hours, the morning of April 16, 1945, and the Laffey is on screening patrol off the northern coast of Okinawa, when 50 Japanese planes are spotted approaching from the south. Your heart pounds when you hear the call. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. General Porter. General Porter. Hands, Hands pointers. Switch to automatic. Handling room. Fill the hoist with able time and full service charge. Stand by. At 0830 hours, four of the planes break formation, making a kamikaze run. Load and ready to fire. Load and ready, sir. Commence firing. The next thing you know, you are being pulled through heavy smoke away from the intense flames. You are one of the fortunate ones as the kamikaze plane disintegrates on impact, ripping open the side of the gun mount with a major explosion from the bomb it was carrying, which in turn ignited the adjacent powder magazine starting a major fire. Six of your buddies who were only feet away from you are killed. For 80 minutes that morning, 22 kamikaze planes attacked the USS Laffey. The men of this brave ship fought off most, but in the end, she was hit by six kamikazes and four bombs, yet still she remained afloat, earning her the nickname, the ship that would not die. On April 16, 1945, 26 men along with the six young men inside this mount died during the attack. 71 additional men were wounded, these men sacrificed while bravely fighting off what is now one of the most fierce kamikaze attacks in naval history. They were someone's son, brother, grandson, even father, and this day they gave all for our country. We now honor them by providing you a small look into what they experienced that historic day. We must never forget their service nor their sacrifice for our nation. <laughs>